to my kitchen. My name is Alana Yazi and I'm the creator and founder of thefancynavajo.com which is a lifestyle and food blog that follows along my life as a contemporary Danak woman living here in the city. I'm so excited to be here with all of you virtually in my kitchen. I wish we were all together but this is going to be so much more fun. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy recipe for fancy blue corn quiche and incorporates one of my favorite ingredients which is blue corn. I love cooking with blue corn. It's one of those simple and easy ingredients to add to my everyday cooking and it packs a lot of nutritional ingredients and it's just so fun to make. If you love quiche as much as I do, then you're going to love this fancy blue corn quiche as well. It's such a pretty blue color. So I hope you guys follow along with me and make this beautiful dish. And if you need the recipe for this, you can find it on my website, thefancynavajo.com. Uh, you can just head there and it'll give you all the instructions on how to make this if you want to do this at another time. So definitely go check that out. And if you don't already, uh, make sure to follow me on all my social media channels at the Fancy Navajo on Instagram and at the Fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get cooking and make some fancy blue corn quiche. So before we get started, let's go ahead and go through some of the ingredients as well as equipment that you're going to need to make this fancy uh, blue corn quiche recipe. So first you're going to need your oven and we're actually going to preheat our ovens to 425 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And you're also going to need a 9 inch pie pan. So this is what we're going to make our quiche in. We're going to put in our blue corn crust, add in our egg filling, and add in our toppings. So for the crust, you're going to need one fourth cup all-purpose flour, as well as half a cup of roasted blue cornmeal. If you don't have blue corn, you can definitely substitute this for yellow corn as well. Um, but I do know quite a few of you have been sent blue cornmeal from Native Health, so thanks for sending that to them so they can try this recipe. And you're also going to need one third cup of oil or butter. So for this recipe, I'm using coconut oil. So I like using a coconut oil it's a little bit healthier but you can also use unsalted butter as well as shortening for this recipe so those three ingredients are going to be used for the beautiful blue corn crust I also added a pinch of salt to add a little bit more flavor and for the filling we're going to need about four to five large eggs so I have my eggs here as well as a quarter cup of milk so I have a whole milk here that we're going to use and then for your toppings, your fillings, it's pretty much up to you, but my favorite combination when it comes to quiche is some spinach and some kale. So I have about maybe a cup of spinach and kale, as well as uh, some corn, corn on the cob. So we have about half a cup of corn kernels here. And I like adding onions to my quiche, so I have about a quarter cup of red onions diced finely here. And I like to top my quiche with some tomatoes. I actually grew these in my garden. I have so many tomatoes, so this is a nice way to use them. I'm also going to need some cheese. Um, so for this recipe, you can use uh, whatever cheese you like. Um, here I have a blend of Monterey and sharp cheddar. You can use sharp cheddar by itself or even cheddar cheese and mozzarella. So we have about a quarter to half a cup of cheese and then we're going to top it with Parmesan cheese. So here we have about a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. So these are the, all the ingredients that we're going to need. Um, we're also going to need a rolling pin as well as a couple mixing bowls. We're going to need a saute pan so that way we can saute all of our beautiful vegetables before adding it to our blue corn quiche. So let's go ahead and get started with our blue corn crust and make room for that and we'll start making that. So in a medium sized bowl we're going to add in the blue cornmeal and all purpose flour and just give that a good mix with our hands and add in that coconut oil and again we're just using our hands to make sure the oil and the flours are equally combined. So you'll end up with this crumbly consistency and we're going to go ahead and add in a few tablespoons of ice cold water just to make sure that we get that flour, the oil all equally combined and you can add a little bit more water if needed. Basically we're just trying to get it into a nice smooth ball like this. 
Then on a clean surface, we're going to sprinkle some flour on the surface and I like to only sprinkle it out as much as the width of the pie pan. And we're just going to roll out our beautiful blue corn crust and it just flip it around ever so slightly so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And we're gonna try to roll this out about 10 to 11 inches wide, basically so that it's wide enough to fit into the pie crust mold. And you can just check here, I like to place it on the top and we're good to go. So we're just going to transfer the uh, blue corn crust to the pie dish and don't worry if it starts to crumble a little bit, we can go ahead and push that into the mold so that way it's more smooth. So now that we have assembled our pie crust, we're gonna go ahead and pre-bake it for about 10 minutes on 425 degrees. And once that's cooked uh, just a little bit, that's when we're gonna go ahead and add in our fillings. So now's a good time to start sauteing those vegetables and getting your egg mixture together. So that way we're closer to finishing our blue corn quiche. So in a large skillet, we're going to add a tablespoon of olive oil on a medium to high heat and we're going to start sauteing our vegetables. Here I have some red onion, corn, and kale and spinach, but feel free to use whatever vegetables you have on hand. And once our pan is ready, we're going to go ahead and start to saute our onions. And we don't want to make our onions turn uh, brown or dark, we just want them a little bit tender. And then once we're ready, we're gonna add in our corn. I love using fresh corn on the cob for this, but if you don't have that available, you can use canned corn as well. And we're just going to mix that up. And already it smells so delicious. And if you want to, you can also add in a pinch of salt to add a little bit of flavor. And once that gets cooking some more, we can go ahead and add in our beautiful uh, kale and spinach. And we don't want to cook this for too long. We don't want the, the spinach and the kale leaves to wilt completely. So once they are partially cooked, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and cover it and set it aside for our quiche. So now that we finish sauteing our vegetables, we're gonna go ahead and start making our egg mixtures. So again, you're going to need uh, four to five uh, large eggs here, as well as about a quarter cup of milk. So we're just gonna crack our eggs into the bowl. And then we're going to need about a quarter cup of milk. Just add that in there. So we have our egg mixture here. And we're just going to whisk it all together. Making sure to break up all the eggs. Make sure that the milk is nice and combined into those eggs. And it's a pretty sunny golden color. Look at that. We don't want any white streaks in this mixture. Want it light and fluffy, and there you have it. So now that our crust has pre-baked for about 10 minutes, now we're ready to assemble our blue corn quiche. Make sure to be careful handling the hot pie crust dish, so don't burn yourself. And we're gonna start by adding in some of that saute filling that we made earlier. So we're gonna add that first. There's so many pretty colors here. It looks so beautiful. I love adding corn and spinach to my quiche, but you're more than welcome to add whatever ingredients you have on hand. If you're a green chili lover, certainly add green chili or jalapenos to this. Whatever you like, you can add it to this to make it your own. So we have in our sauteed veggies, we're gonna put this to the side here. And we're just going to spread out the sauteed vegetables so that way we get an even bite with each slice. And then we're going to add in our shredded cheese and we're just going to evenly spread that through our dish. And you can add more, you can add a less cheese, whatever you like. And so we have a nice coating there. And then lastly, we're going to add in our egg mixture. So make sure that your milk and your eggs are equally combined. You can add some salt and pepper to this. And you're just gonna pour that into your little quiche dish.
dish here. And just so you know, it's not gonna cover fully all of the sauteed vegetables, that's fine. Whenever this cooks in the oven, the eggs are gonna fluff up and they're gonna cover all of those parts, so don't worry about that. And then the last part is topping it with some tomatoes. I like doing this in a beautiful pattern. I just love pretty food because not only do we eat with our stomachs, but we also eat with our eyes. So I like decorating the top of this with some fresh tomatoes and then sprinkling it with some Parmesan cheese. And after we do that, we can pop it in the oven for 425 degrees for 10 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna lower the heat to 350 degrees and bake this for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating our quiche and I can't wait to see how all of your quiches turn out as well. So let's go ahead and put on our beautiful toppings. So now we are at the grand finale of finishing our fancy blue corn quiche. Here I like to take some time to decorate the top of the blue corn quiche so that looks nice and fancy and pretty for all of my guests. And you know, you can do whatever type of design you want here. I just like lining the outside of the quiche with the tomato so you get a piece of tomato with every slice and you just finish with a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on the top and we are ready to put this in the oven. So I just took out the fancy blue corn quiche from the oven and it looks and it smells amazing. You can definitely smell the blue corn and you can also smell that toasted cheese. I cannot wait to dig in and eat this. I love serving this with a side salad or some bacon in the mornings for me and my husband. It's just a fun, fancy treat to have and the blue corn crust definitely will wow all of your guests or your family members, especially for those mornings when you wanna be a little bit more fancy so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if you followed along with this definitely send me pictures on how it turned out put them down below in the comments I love seeing your beautiful creations and as always the full recipe can be found on the fancy navajo.com so if you want to make this at another time definitely go check that out and if you want to continue to follow along with me in my journey make sure to follow me on my social media channels at the fancy navajo on Instagram and at the fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. And for more blue corn recipes, definitely check out my website, thefancynavajo.com. I have recipes for fancy blue corn cupcakes as well as crepes. So definitely go check that out. And I hope you guys take care. You be kind to one another. And until next time, take care. Bye.